sports. It's in the game. I'm sure you've heard this all before. Sure you look familiar. Sure the cost delivery. Well, this is what they've been striving for, and shortly it will become reality. Here in the Spanish capital, it's the UEFA Champions League final. A warm welcome from me, Derek Ray, joined for commentary tonight by Lee Dixon, and we're fast approaching kickoff time here at the Estadio Metropolitano. It is Manchester City up against Inter. Well, hundreds of millions of people will be tuning into this one. Probably the biggest club game in the world. Pointed end of the tournament. Who's going to come out on top? Well, Derek, we're just about to find out. Very, very excited. David Silva can always bring his influence to bear on the proceedings. Lee, what sort of performance do you think we'll see from Silva? Well, you've hit the nail on the head, Derek. Influence. He sets the tempo of a game. He gets the ball and creates. Everybody backs off him because he's so good. Introducing the starting players for Manchester City. And they are a team, Lee, known for their aggressive high pressing. Well, absolutely. That takes a lot of hard work, a lot of organisation, force the opposition to make early passes. The weakness of it, if you beat the high press, you can get exposed at the back. There was definitely a need for a new Atletico Madrid stadium, and they've got the new ground here in the eastern part of the capital the Metropolitano, 
and it's brilliantly. It is. I was lucky enough to go to the Calderon. I love that stadium. Very old, as you said, and literally falling down. So they needed a new home, and they've done a great job with this one. Inter's lineup is as follows. Would you call it 4 5 1, Lee? Yeah, I really like this formation, Derek. 4 2 3 1, really. The two central midfield players supplying support to a three ahead of them, and then a lone striker with a number 10 just behind him. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be crowned club kings of Europe. And now Kevin De Bruyne. Excellent defending. Just couldn't quite keep us in play. Bernardo Silva. A meaty but fair challenge. And it will be a throw-in. It's with Bernardo Silva. De Bruyne now. Kevin De Bruyne on the move. It might appeal to Raheem Sterling, you know. No nonsense clearance. And here's David Silva. And fed forwards. And the attack fades out. And can he make this move count? Perfectly fair tackle. And it will be a corner. Played into the centre of the box. And it's come off the keeper. He's having quite the game for himself. Save after save after save. De Bruyne now. Given away by City. He might be able to profit from the wide position. And the defender finding a solution to the problem. Raja Nainggolan. Perisic with the ball. De Bruyne now. Bernardo Silva. Possession seeded by City here. Vecino on the ball. D'Ambrosio, now Brozovic, Raja Nainggolan, an abundance of space. Goalkeeper's ball every day of the week. De Bruyne, it's with Bernardo Silva. A lot of momentum about this Manchester City attack, what can they do from here? Well, I'm sure he heard the footsteps of his opponent. This is Asamoa. Brozovic. It's with Stefan de Frey. Plenty of running room in the wide position. And it's played into the centre. Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it was well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. De Bruyne. Sergio Aguero has it. It's with Bernardo Silva. And he's got the beating of his opponent. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw-in. Aguero. Politano with it. And Nangolan. Aguero. It's with Bernardo Silva. Sergio Aguero has it. He has been deemed to be offside, not by much, Lee. Brilliant, brilliant officiating, that is. Look at that, spot on.
Well, Lee, we tend to associate you with Arsenal, but you grew up following Manchester City. What would it mean to them to win the Champions League? Well, it'd mean a lot to me, and it certainly mean a lot to the uh, neighbours over the road at Manchester United. Can City add to their Premier League titles? Questions will be answered tonight. De Bruyne. Messino. Nainggolan. They're making considerable progress with the ball, but will there be an end product? Well, is he going to give them the advantage? Just wanted to get it out of there. And Raja Nainggolan. And Matthias Vecino. Well, let's see what he has in store for them. Well, a sloppy clearance. What can the opposition do with this? And that signals the end of a tight, tense first half. We're still waiting, Lee, for someone or something to kickstart this Champions League final. Mm, not the best, is it? I'm thinking about my half-time cup of tea and my refreshments and my vegetarian pie, to be honest with you. Let's hope that the half-time team talk from both coaches changes the outcome of this game. And it will be a steak pie for me, as long as somebody can provide it. And they get the ball right. Forty-five minutes separating these two sides from glory. The second half of the Champions League final begins. Brozovic, Vecino, Rancha Nainggolan for Inter. Ball lost. And Manchester City moving the ball with purpose. And the danger clear. Politano. David Silva, a player with masterful technique, but is it happening for him out there? And the decision is one of offside here. Well, they have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game. It's with David Silva. Sergio Aguero has it. And now Kevin De Bruyne. And Bernardo Silva has it. And Aguero. Corner for Manchester City. And that's a deep corner. Still alive. Textbook defending inside the box. Half an hour remaining then. Perisic with the ball. Stones attending to his defensive duties. Now Zinchenko getting the ball forward is the key for Manchester City here. Will there be any end products? They will now make use of the substitutes bench. Sané. Aguero. And oh, a chance to fire them ahead here. And plenty of scope to be creative in that wide position. Will he play it in? Well, it didn't have to be a 10 out of 10 from the keeper, but high marks anyway. Seven and a half, I'm going to give him for that one. Seven and a half, well done. Carrying a genuine threat here. Not a very complicated... Clear foul play, and as a result, a free kick forthcoming. And a substitution in the offing.
Well, we're going to see the replay here. You can't head the ball in the net if you don't get any crosses in. The crosses are coming in thick and fast, and that was a beauty. That made the goal. A chance to revisit the goal. And back playing here with Inter, the team holding the advantage. It's with Gundogan. Well, regaining possession for his side cleverly inside the last quarter of an hour. It has gone over the touchline for what will be a throw in. It's with Stefan de Frey. And here is Gagliardini. And Nangolan. And barring the door was Laporte. And Quadro Asamoa. Gagliardini. And Gunduan doing the thwarting. He's given it away. Gagliardini has it. Well, can he make this move count? Couldn't keep it. And now Kevin De Bruyne, incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. Well, in the second half trailing albeit by a small margin how should they be viewing this task Lee? City will feel that because the game is so close there's another goal out there more pressure more balls in the box more intensity force the issue and a goal here accuracy with the header just what they needed Well, we'll see this again, and it's inches from going wide. It doesn't hit the post and goes in. Keeper is distraught. Well, let's have another view of that goal. So 2-0 now. And three minutes will be added on for stoppages. Raja Nainggolan. Full time and the issue settled one team crestfallen the other jubilantly well there's winners and there's always losers fine margins between the two expectation wins nothing Derek got to go out there and seize the moment but for these players well it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond well you have to enjoy it because it passes so quickly know what comes next the presentation of the cup with the big ears well you just think how many games he played this season as well all that's in the past now the game that's just happened was the most important one they're all poised the champions league winners in 2019 can feel the emotion it's natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories the cup with the big ears as it's affectionately known 
and this is the moment that it's sharing it with the supporters to get a chance to take it a little bit closer to those stands let them enjoy the experience with you and the families are up there in the stands as well a brilliant occasion it took fire as well as ice on the pitch necessary qualities now the chance for a photograph my mum always told me to get on the front row. She taught you well, Lee. There we have it. The Champions League victors for 2019. And they get the ball rolling in the Champions League final. We're about to find out who will be... Plenty of running room in the wide position. And it's played into the centre. Oh dear, I think he's left his shooting boots behind in the dressing room. Well, it's well worth the effort. Poor technique, really. Should do better than that. Played in there. We wondered if a goal was forthcoming, but it has arrived now. Well, finally, the deadlock has been broken. Not long to go now. How will that affect the... Incision with the pass from Kevin De Bruyne. Well, he just couldn't make it happen. And a goal here! Accuracy with the header, just what they needed.